Hey guys, Ashley here. It is time to start getting prepped for October, so that's what I'm going to be doing in my planner. The first thing that I'm going to do is set up my fitness nutrition section. So we're going to take um, September out, and then we're going to be putting October in. Now I, I had started to use. If you're new here and you're like, "What planner do you have? What's going on?" I um, all my planner supplies come from the Happy Planner. And for my fitness and nutrition one, I was using a Happy Notes. And then towards the end of September, I actually brought in another planner that I have. It's called Squad Goals. Um, it's this one right here, that pink one. And I was using it. But I actually, I'm not into the vertical layout for my fitness one. I want to go back to like the boho style where I was creating my own spreads. So I'm not going to be using that planner. I'm going to go back to what I was doing. But I am going to use the divider on it. Now anytime I take sections out of a planner, I like to take a sticky note and write down what that section was and that way I can keep everything separated because I'm just using the divider and that way if I come back and I want to use those weekly pages, I know what they're already dated for. So like I said, I'm going to use October's divider out of that and then I'm going to take this Happy Notes which has dot grid paper and I'm going to use that as a way to create my own layout. But first, I'm going to take my Tombow double-sided tape and I'm going to adhere these two pages together. This stuff is amazing, by the way. If you've been thinking about getting it, definitely grab it. It's come in handy so many times and it works so, so well. So my little tip for this, anytime you're adhering these pages together, definitely use the tape around the discs. And then if you pull the pages, this is going to sound, I don't, it's so hard to explain, but it, like if you pull the pages back on the discs towards you, and then when you pull that other sheet around, which you'll see me do here in just a second, when you pull that other sheet around, make sure you're pulling it all the way to you, but you have to account for the roundness of the discs, if that makes sense. And if you do it that way, everything should line up to where it's straight. So that will be my, where I put my first week of October, um, my spread in there where I keep track of my workouts, my water, nutrition, how I'm feeling, um, you know, small wins, all the things. There's my habit tracker that I created. So that was my fitness and nutrition planner. Now this planner is an hourly layout and I use this one to block schedule my day, which if I'm being honest, I haven't been sticking to here recently, but I'm telling you when I actually do it, and I don't know why I don't do it, because when I do it, my days are so much more productive. Now for this planner, I don't decorate this one. I don't make it look cute. Like it's just, just pen to paper in here. And I'm just planning out my day. Sometimes I write my top priorities in the, um, that top like pink block and then the rest of it is just me planning out the day Now the next planner is my catch-all planner. This is a vertical layout I'm actually going to leave September in here temporarily because I still have to take photos and the week is not completely finished But I'm going to go ahead and add October that way it's ready to go and then um, Once I transition into October, I will take September out later, but I still have to take photos for Instagram So that's that's a priority now, if you're watching this and you're like, what the heck is a catch-all planner? I literally put anything and everything inside of here. So it can be doctor's appointments, cleaning schedule. Right now my son is at home doing the virtual learning, so I put that stuff inside of here. Um, anything and everything can go inside of that planner. Now this one is my dashboard planner and I use this one for social media, so for Instagram and YouTube. And this is where I plan out YouTube videos and anything that I'm wanting to post on Instagram. So now I'm going to get October set up inside of my social media planner. Basically what I'm doing here is just decorating it. So I used to plan out the entire month's posts or uh, YouTube videos at once, right? So I would write in everything that I was filming. And honestly, that's not me. I do not like that at all. It feels too, this is going to sound ridiculous, but it feels too structured for me. So I am a type 7 Enneagram like to a T. And I, I thrive by flying by the seat of my pants, which I know some of you guys are like, what? I couldn't do that. But for me, that's where I thrive. That's where I feel the most comfortable. That's where I, I mean, if I'm, if everything's already planned out for me, it feels very mundane. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous, but that's just who I am. And I actually love that about myself. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to decorate this, get it all set up that way. And then each week I'm going to come back 
and I'm going to plan out my YouTube videos for that week. And so I have a, like a master list of video ideas. And if you guys have anything that you want to see, please, please, please let me know in the uh, comments section because that helps me out tremendously with coming up idea with ideas. But I have this master list of different videos that I want to create. And each week I'm going to come back into my monthly layout here and I will just plan those videos out there. So I don't, I'm not going to plan everything in advance. Now I couldn't find a sticker, a Happy Halloween sticker that was kind of the size I was looking for. So I decided to just use the stickers from the fun alphabet and write out Happy Halloween. And I wanted to do it this way so I still had room to decorate down there. I didn't just want it to say Happy Halloween. Like I wanted to put some, um, I don't remember what I put down there now, cobwebs maybe? Was there a pumpkin? <laughs> I'm I'm learning I'm figuring this out with you guys I, I don't even remember what I put down there now Now whiteout is something else that I use a lot inside of my planner. If you're a newbie planner and you're like, how do they cover up the words to put clear stickers over them? I personally use whiteout. I think it works the best. Um, I do have some like jelly roll pens. Honestly, I don't like them. I don't use them. That does, that's not to say that you won't like them. You may fall in love with them, which is totally okay. But for me, whiteout just seems to work the best. And um, I just put whiteout down and then I, I put the clear sticker over top of it. I actually am going to put a sticky note down and I'm going to write out what sticker books I use for this spread. I'm actually not finished here. I do come back and I end up adding some more stickers and decorating it a little bit more. But for now, I needed to kind of step away from it. Have you guys ever had that happen where you're doing a spread and you're like, I don't, I don't know what to do. I'm not liking this. It's not that I'm not liking it. It's just I felt lost. Like I didn't know what else to put down. So I, I just wrote down what sticker books I used. I put it back in my planner and then I walked away from it. And then I ended up getting it back out and finish decorating it. So here's where I pulled the spread back out and I'm going to finish decorating it this time. You guys, this little Halloween pack is super duper cute. I wish it was like twice the size. Like I'm loving all these stickers in there and I definitely want more of them. Car. 
So here I'm going to use these pumpkins to create my own jack-o'-lantern. I wanted some more orange on the right side of the page and I wanted them to be jack-o'-lanterns and not just plain pumpkins. So I took a fine point sharpie marker and I just kind of mimicked the other jack-o'-lanterns that I had already stuck on the page to kind of create my own. I personally think it turned out super duper cute and this is an easy way to do it if you don't have um, already like pre-made jack-o'-lantern stickers and you just have some pumpkin ones. It was really easy to do. So I am a health and fitness coach and I actually use this planner for that stuff as well. I totally forgot to mention it earlier, but on Mondays and Thursdays, I have a team call and on Mondays, me and my team, we get on there and we talk fitness, nutrition, water, goals, motivation, mindset, all the things in that area. And then on Thursdays is what we like to call our planner sesh. So we all hop on Zoom together and we plan together. Sometimes we plan, sometimes we end up sitting there talking the whole time. <laughs> But it's really fun. I love doing it. I love hanging out with my girls on my team. They're absolutely amazing people. So I am going to go ahead and put those little star stickers down for those uh, Zoom meetings that I have. Okay, now I am officially finished inside of this monthly spread. And now I'm gonna decorate my monthly spread inside of my catch-all. We're still going for a Halloween theme. I love this fall sticker book, the newer one. It has like a sheet, you see it right there, the purple, it's got the purple background, but then there's also a sheet that has the orange background. I think I show it. But I really love these little houses in the purple one, so I knew that they were definitely going on my monthly spread. They are so stinking cute.
As far as what I plan inside of this catch-all monthly layout, it could be anything, you guys. Again, it's my catch-all. It can be appointments, um, work schedules, bills. If we were going on vacation, which obviously we're not now, we're all staying home. Um, so it could vary. It could be a ton of different things. Here I'm just doing the same little sticky note method that I do where I write down what sticker books I use so that way when I come back to add plans into here as they happen or whenever I need to, I know what sticker books I've used for it. So that's going to be my setup for October. I didn't do much inside of my fitness and nutrition planner as far as like decorating it and stuff because honestly I'm not 100% I'm not for sure just yet what I want to do if I want to do like monthly layout if I just want to stick to weekly so I just left it blank for now and I'm going to ponder on it so that's it I'm set to go for October the only thing I have to do next is take out September once I get my photos for Instagram priorities duh if you haven't already make sure you subscribe come hang out with me on Instagram and I will see you in the next video